creating RAM connections and intersections. You can remove the pavement markings from the display by selecting Categories and Models from the Action Center. Click on Markings to turn off display of all elements in that category. Select Road from the Placement Tools. Set the Road Class, the Road Template by browsing in the Ramp folder, set the name to Ramp A and the design speed to 20. Now place a ramp to connect the freeway and Bell Road in the southwest quadrant of the interchange. Note that the start and end of the ramp alignment should overlap the freeway and Bell Road center lines. Doing so, it will be easier to adjust the ramp vertical alignment in the profile view. Adjust the ramp profile so it intersects the edges of the freeway and Bell Road. Repeat to create a second ramp in the northwest quadrant of the interchange. Again, specify the road template, give it a name, and set the design speed. Adjust the ramp profile. The profile of the ramp doesn't need to be exact. It will automatically be adjusted when the ramp is connected. However, Starting with profile elevation close before the ramp connection is created helps generate a more accurate ramp. To define a ramp connection, select Ramp Connection from the Placement Tools. The Settings dialog appears. Uncheck the Auxiliary Lane option. Select the Bell Road for the primary road. Select the Ramp A for the secondary road. Right-click to create a connection. Define an intersection by selecting Intersection from the Placement Tools. Select the Bell Road for the primary road and the Ramp B for the secondary road. Right-click to create the intersection. Define another Ramp Connection by selecting Ramp Connection. Select the Auxiliary Lane option to create an auxiliary lane parallel to the primary road. Select the Freeway and select the ramp B for the secondary road. To complete, define a ramp connection between ramp A and the existing ramp connector on the freeway. Right-click to create the connection. You can now turn on the markings categories from the Action Center at the bottom of the application to show the pavement markings.